Hi y'all, she was seven. So I wanted to make a video today addressing um, a topic someone gave me. And she asked, how do you get out of a dead end relationship? Um, because a lot of women are afraid that they won't find anyone, anyone else or that that's the best they can do. So they stay with these guys who aren't about anything. You know, they're losers, uh, but they've grown so used to him that they don't want to see what else is out there. And they're asking me, how do I leave? How do I leave? Well, I don't know if y'all have kids in the relationship. I don't know, but um, I will tell you <laughs> how I would do it, okay? First of all, if there were children involved and I wanted to leave my, um, my loser boyfriend or whatever, and you have children by him, um, I would start by dropping clues and hints that you are interested in moving out or starting over in another state or just that you want to separate. I would just start dropping little clues and hints. Um, I would also start suggesting that he better himself so, you know, at least you give him a chance to try. You know, if he doesn't respond positive to it, then just start making small moves, one move a day to get out of that relationship. Um, for example, you can start a savings account. You can start looking at apartments online, seeing the vacancies, going to look. Um, you can start looking at different, you know, things to maybe, uh, like if you're, if you're on a certain schedule, you can start looking for, uh, you know, daycare options or whatever if you need that. You can also start looking at, um, what do you call it? Um, you can also start looking at line to file child support and um, if you need it. You can actually still, you can actually file child support online before you even move out. You just either, um, you know, yeah, you can actually file child support before you even move out and the letters will both come to that address and you can say you're moving and then give them like your mom's address or something like that but you can actually file child support while you're still there and so before you even make moves to you know move out that'll already be in place so you don't have to worry about it you know and then i would just like and if there's no kids involved i would just start packing a little bit each day and taking it, you know, somewhere or putting it in storage or whatever. I would go on lunch dates. Like if I was on, uh, like if I was at work, I would uh, try to schedule lunch dates with new people while I was still with this person because, you know, a lunch date is just getting to know someone, you know, make your plan B to have a reason to leave and be confident in yourself again that you can attract a decent person that's way better than who you're with. Um, I would suggest, uh, you know, making online friends. I would suggest just doing those little things. It's not cheating if you're already planning to leave that person and you're just tired of it and you're just trying to make a smooth exit. There's nothing wrong with that. Most women already have a plan B guy that she can go to, okay? If you don't have one and you're in a relationship where you don't want to be, get one, okay? Because as soon as you're free, you know things are going to start going in your favor because you've already invested time into that relationship um you can just start off smooth and be happy and you know um you know pick up where you left off and say you know i'm so glad i met you you got me out of that bad situation i should have never been in and you showed me my value and my worth and i'm so glad i left the loser yay you know so and a lot of men will you know suggest you leave to him a lot of men will be like go ahead and leave him i will take care of you you don't have to stay there why are you in that you know i don't understand what do you see you know a lot of men will also help convince you to get out you just gotta find one that has genuine interest in you which means um you have to put yourself out there you know like i said the lunch dates meeting people online um putting like more effort and time into a relationship outside the one you don't want 
And a lot of people say, oh, well, that's cheating. Well, you know what? You don't want to be with him anyway. You call him a loser behind his back. He's not improving. So what choice do you have? You know, um, most women go for love and looks under the age of 25. After they turn 25, they've either gotten their heart broken, been dissed, been cheated on, and they understand that love, being in love that young of an age, is not what's on a man's mind. It's on a woman's mind. So they know men are out to play, out to get them, out to use them. So then what they do in their mind, it clicks, you know what? Men are after love. You know, you have to trick men into certain things. The men are after love for me. They're after, you know, something else. I was after love, but I got dissed. So now I'm just going to be after money because I'm not leaving the relationship like I did empty-handed before. So basically, that's that's how women start to think after they've been dogged by men. They're like, you know what? I spent all that effort and time. I really love that person. I put to all this into the relationship, and he still cheated on me, and he still did this, and he still did that, and I even paid for my own dates. I paid for my drinks. I did everything I was supposed to do, but he still went out and cheated, and he didn't. You know, he didn't want to marry me. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. So the next guy I get with, I'm going to have him pay for everything. He's going to buy me expensive gifts. This, this, and that to prove to me that he's serious about me. Because I'm not going to waste my time anymore with losers. So that's how women start thinking after the age of 25. Because they've been dissed by men. Men who say, oh, well, women need to do this and women need to do that. And they just need to think about love, love, love. Y'all don't, y'all aren't thinking about love. So why should we? You know, men are not thinking about love. They're thinking about sex and who's going to pay the bill, <laughs> sadly. And these days, I think more men want to be like women. I mean, we have more transgender uh, people right now, men changing into women because they want what we have. They want our benefits. They want the attention. I saw this video on Facebook. This beautiful transgender like drag queen guy was driving and vlogging and he had like a really deep voice but he was beautiful he looked like a Tinka Sumter Tika Sumter and while he was driving there was some thirsty guy in the car next to him just following him looking all in the window because he looks like a beautiful woman just following him stopping at every uh, light and, you know just like a super thirsty dude and so he's saying you see how these guys are you see this guy there? Mm -mm. And as a transgender uh, male, female, he's getting that kind of attention. So what kind of attention do you think real women are getting? We have too many options to be with losers. You know, we have too many options. Too many. We got guys chasing us down the street, waving in the window at stoplights trying to pull over and get your number. We have that like at least once a week if, you know, if you're out and about. It's especially if you, you know, are in a place where there's lots of people your age. Yeah, you can get that. So, man, I don't, I don't know where y'all getting this information from. That's why we're single. We're single because we don't want to deal with losers. We will rather wait and get the perfect man who is going, not, not even perfect. We will rather wait and get the man who's going to, like, be a man, you know. Single women, that doesn't mean they're lonely. They can go out every night with a different dude and get free dinner and free drinks. And stay single and go home and be fine you know they can still get those guys to pay their bills one guy for this bill one guy for that bill one guy for this bill you know what I a, a lot of my friends did that a lot of my friends had their cable bill paid by one guy their rent paid by another guy their water bill paid by the brokest guy <laughs> but you know what I mean they had all their bills paid by different men and they would go out to lunch with them once or twice a month this, this one will go out to lunch with them every week. They would take their girlfriends out to eat with them and stuff like that. They just, you know, they were single, but they had their stuff taken care of. They were never lonely. And the thing is, until they found the perfect man that could do all those things that all those different guys were doing, they did not settle down. Why? Because in this day and age, men want to be women. And it's not right. Y'all shouldn't want to be us. <laughs> y'all talk about us so bad, but y'all want to be us so bad, you know? Y'all want to be invited out on a date and have the date paid for and catered to and all, and given manicures and pedicures and, you know, worshipped. But that's not, that's not for y'all. 
You know, y'all are supposed to be the strong, masculine strength. Not the soft, feminine energy who is built physically for receiving. You know, if I was a giver, I'd have something to give sexually. I don't have, I, I don't have an outward extension. I'm not supposed to be a giver. I'm a receiver by nature. Okay, I I am the outlet. You are the plug. Okay, it's it's even in nature. Women are not givers. Women are receivers. Okay, we after we receive what we're supposed to receive, we create with it. You know, we create life. You know, you give women a credit card, she'll create a wardrobe. You give women groceries, she'll create a meal. You give women uh, a compliment, she'll she'll take it to a whole nother level and, uh, you know, have people complimenting you for being with her. You know, it's just, women are the natural receivers. We're not supposed to give. We're not supposed to pay on dates. We're not supposed to do any of that. And if we do then we're devaluing ourselves. We're saying, hey, you're more feminine than me now because now I'm going to dig in my pocket, which is a masculine thing, and pay the bill. You know? And if I was a woman and I ever found myself on a date when a man asked me to pay, I would make a scene. I'd be like, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, um, my date wants me to pay and I really need to like split this bill like right down the middle and... Um, I don't know if he's going to leave you a tip or not. So how much do you want? Like how much, how much do you think that this combined with, you know, because I'm going to go ahead and leave you a tip because I'm not sure if he's going to pay the tip or not because he obviously, uh, doesn't really have enough money to pay for this date. So I'm, I want to make sure, ma'am, say it loud in the restaurant. I want to make sure, ma'am, that you're, that you're very well compensated for your wonderful service. And I know I'd like to thank you so much. Don't even look at him. And she's going to laugh. She's going to be, oh my God, this lady great. Well, ma'am, it's about 18% if you want to tip generously or 10% if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and chip, tip you generously, ma'am, because you did an outstanding job. And, you know, I don't want you to suffer because of, you know, lack of planning on his part. So she's going to be like, okay, ma'am, thank you so much. And you're going to be like, no, thank you. And people are going to hear that at the next table. He's going to look like a chump. He ain't ever going to do that again, I promise you. Or he'll never call you back because you know you're not calling him back <laughs> for sure. Okay, embarrass those people. If you ever find yourself out on a date and somebody's looking at you to pay, embarrass them in public. Teach them a lesson because they need to be taught. They need to be spanked. Okay, they're acting like children. They're acting like females. They need to be checked okay they need to be checked and they need to be checked frequently if you don't check someone who does that to you then he's going to keep doing it to other women and it's going to make the situation worse so ladies if you ever get asked out on a date if he asks you he's supposed to pay if you don't pay and he looks at you for the money embarrass him in public okay i don't care and then put it on youtube so you can get a thousand two thousand three thousand hits and go viral and get paid still okay bye